Hey, what's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're here with the very first updated every Omnibus release so far. We're doing Batman The Dark Knight, so stay tuned so we can talk about everything you see here, plus some honorable mentions. All right, guys, so you can see we have a lot of Omnibus on the table, 17 Batman Omnibus, plus, like I mentioned, there's some other ones that I have to decide here that we'll show off later. But these are all the Omnibus that have ever been released for Batman. The first time I did this video, I had every Omnibus and every Absolute Edition, but a lot of times those books started double dipping the same material, and I'm not gonna do that anymore. I just don't have the space. So basically, I'm only gonna collect Omnibus and Absolutes if it's not already collected in this format. So this is just strictly the Omnibus. What we'll do is we'll talk about what's in the book, and then we'll uh, flip and uh, show the artwork. So, we might as well start where it all began, the Batman Golden Age Omnibus Volume 1. As you can see, there are currently five volumes of this with a sixth volume on the way. And I think this is really cool because this reprints Batman's first appearance in Detective Comics 27, and then goes on to collect issues 27 through 56, Batman number 1 through 7, New York World's Fair comic number 2, World's Best Comic Number One and World's Finest Comics Two and Three. This has a seventy-five dollar cover price, uh, and and I believe that fluctuates depending on if any of this material was uh, already printed or reprinted or not. This book and the Superman Golden Age Omnibus is kind of what got me into these, man. Because where else are you going to have their first appearance collected in this format? Oversized, looks clean. We'll flip through the artwork now and uh, take a look at it. All right, so let's take a look at the artwork on the Golden Age Omnibus Volume 1. All five volumes have similar artwork on the dust jackets and the same black hardcover, which you'll see with a lot of the DC Omnibus, actually. So that's the front. I'm pretty sure we already got a good look at the spine. And here is the back. You can see the issues it collects down here. The cover price. It also has a forward by Danny O'Neill. So like I said, all black for the actual hardcover. You got this kind of embossed lettering, which is on the spine as well. And the back is just all black. You have a lot of great artwork. Here's even from Batman number one. A lot of really cool panels. Here's your table of contents that tell you the issue, the year, the name of the story, and the page. So, Detective 27, May of 1939. Here's your forward. And then there you go. You have the cover. Tech 27, first appearance of Batman. So this is what really drew me into Omnibus. Getting these stories in as good of printed quality as you see here. If you have an old Silver Age book or Golden Age book, not a key like this, but the pages will be yellowed and faded and the colors won't be vibrant. So it's very cool, in my opinion, to get these how they were originally intended. And you're going to see the art start to get better throughout these Golden Age Omnibus. And towards the Golden Age, it starts looking like the Silver Age stuff. So this book is really cool because it has Detective Comics 27. And it also has Batman 1, which is the first appearance of the Joker and Catwoman. Let's see if we can get to issue 1. So there you go. Batman number 1. And then there's our first look at the Joker. So, very cool stuff, man. You got Robin. I'm not going to spend as much time with the other volumes because it's very similar stuff. 
but we'll flip through it. Uh, we'll briefly look at the other Golden Age volumes just to see what they collect. But uh, Volume 2 collects Detective Comics 57 through 74, Batman 8 through 15, plus World's Finest Comics 4 through 9. Also a $75 cover price. That's the Batmobile on the cover. Golden Age Batman with that Batmobile cover. We've seen the spines done to death. And here's the back of the dust jacket again, what it collects. And the cover price. This one has a forward by um, Max Allen Collins. So it's going to give every repetitive with what the actual hardcover looks like. It's the same as all the others. This is volume 2. Starts off Detective Comics 57. It looks very similar in artwork. I feel like they started getting bigger with the panels, whereas it used to be nine panel pages, and then you start seeing uh, bigger panels like this. Look, it's uh, promoting World's Finest. Then we have Volume 3, which collects Detective Comics 75 through 92, Batman 16 through 25, and World's Finest 10 through 14, still 75 bucks. On to Volume 3, this reminds me very much of Batman Animated Series Batman, right? Got some Joker, classic Joker cover there. Alright, Volume 3. That's the cover, Batman 16. Already you can see Batman starting to look more like uh, the Adam West Batman. Start, starting to modernize a little bit. Volume 5, we get a Joker cover, and it collects Detective Comics 93 through 112, Batman 26 through 35, and World's Finest 15 through 22, 75 bucks. The cover of Volume 4, very campy, Batman and Robin, Joker and Penguin, with money bags with dollar signs on them. You go Three Musketeers on there. Boom. Volume 4. Look at this with Jolly Old Saint Nick. Catwoman stuff. I like how you get the covers nice and big, man. I mean, where else are you going to get those? You're not going to hunt down the original issues. You got some World's Finest stuff with Superman. A lot of text on, on these pages, man. You really got to knock these out one issue at a time. It's the only way to really knock them out, you know? And the last one that's currently out uh, has a Catwoman cover, collects Detective Comics 113 through 132, uh, Batman 36 through 45, and World's Finest 23 through 32. This one, they upped the price. It was $99.99 for the cover price. 
And from what I understand, the material inside of here was never uh, reprinted in a collected edition like this. So they had to do cleanup and all that kind of stuff to get you the uh, good artwork like you see here. Speaking of which, let's take a look at it. All right, and for Volume 5, you got uh, Batman and Batgirl on the cover. Or is that Catwoman? I think it's Catwoman. Volume 5, the last of the Golden Age omnibus that have been released so far. Volume 6 is solicited, and I believe Volume 7 as well. Don't quote me, though. First one to get a price jump, 100 bucks. Keeping tradition alive here. I do really appreciate DC continuing with this line. Sometimes it feels like a little daunting, but you know I have all the gold, silver, bronze age omnibus that have they, they've released so far, and it's just a really good way of having all that history. And like I said, this is the first time this stuff has been collected, so you wouldn't even be able to torrent at this quality. I don't believe. Not that you should be torrenting anyway. But look, only six panels now, so I see panels are getting bigger. So we mentioned some world's finest issues in the Batman Golden Age omnibus. Uh, I felt like I should collect this because this is basically a Batman Superman book uh, in the Silver Age. So this is World's Finest Volume 1, which collects the, the first meeting of Batman and Superman in Superman 76. And then has World's Finest 71 through 116 and has a $75 cover price. So now we've left the Golden Age. We're into the Silver Age. Let's see how it looks. All right, so we're out of the... Gold Age, we're into the Silver Age with World's Finest Batman and Superman Volume 1. Got Robin on the front as well. There's the back of the dust jacket. First meeting, Superman 76. $75 cover price. All right, here we go. So this would be the first meeting, I'm assuming. Still have a ton of text. Some outer space stuff here. Fighting dragons. Was that Batmite? So Batman Silver Age Omnibus have not been released yet. We jump right to the Bronze Age. And you have two volumes of this. Uh, this is really where I kind of get into the artwork when you get into the 70s stuff. This includes... Well, this is the Bronze Age Brave and the Bold Volume 1, which is another Batman title. And it collects Brave and the Bold 74 through 106. This one had a $125 cover price. All right, into the Bronze Age with Brave and the Bold Volume 1. Really like that artwork here. Here goes the back. What do you know? All black cover. All right, here we're getting into some darker Batman. Look at that cape and cowl. It's got to be Neil Adams stuff. Yeah, he goes Neil Adams. I didn't want to speculate. He goes Dead Man. Great looking artwork, though. Really, you can see how advanced we're getting now with the art, the panels. He's overlapping. 
still a lot of text. There's a flash. Then jumping into volume two of the Brave and the Bold Omnibus, Bronze Age Edition, you have uh, issues 110 through 156 of Brave and the Bold, $100 cover price. You get that good Bronze Age artwork. All right, and then volume two, Brave and the Bold. Take a look at the back. You guys want to read that? You could pause in. Let's crack this bad boy open. Got some green arrow action, red tornado, Hawkman, Wonder Woman. More dead man. There we go. This it looks like a lot more easier on the eyes, right? Look at this. Look at this panel. Some plastic Man, Commissioner Gordon. All right, guys, so we're actually going to jump back into the 70s for the Batman Neil Adams Omnibus. Some people had a problem with this Omnibus because Neil Adams insisted on recoloring some of the stuff, and it kind of was a little jarring. But uh, classic material, nonetheless, it collects. It collects a handful of Neil Adams issues at a $100 cover price. Let's see if we can get a quick look at what it covers. So yeah, it gets kind of random. Detective Comics 395, Batman 219, then Tech... 397, Detective 400, 402, 404, 407, Brave of the Bull 93. So it kind of jumps around. Let's take a look at it uh, so you guys can see so I don't have to just rattle off everything that it covers. All right, sticking in the Bronze Age, we have the Batman by Neil Adams Omnibus, which is uh, scattered over different titles and issues, just covering some Neil Adams Batman issues. Here's the spine. I believe there were two covers for this, and I think this one is even out of print and kind of saw, uh, sought after. We'll take a look at the table of contents to get an idea of what's in here. So the front of the actual hardcover is this classic uh, cover that has Joker on the front. I forget what issue this is. Oh, 251. Batman 251. The spine is the same as the dust jacket, but you also get some very cool Batman, Joker, Dead Man, Kind of with bats flying around uh, on the back. So here's the table of contents. And you can see that it collects World's Finest 175 and 176. Brave and the Bold 79, 80, 81 through 86. Detective Comics 395, Batman 219, Tech 397, 400, 402, 404, 407, Brave and the Bull 93, Tech 408, 410, Batman 232, and so on. The world's finest. Now, I believe... This was recolored because this does not look like 70s coloring. Actually, you'll see if you jump. Yeah, look at that. Anyway, let's flip through this. Yeah, recolored stuff. Which I don't mind. I mean, the artist felt like he wanted to upgrade it. But I guess that being in its original format rubs some people the wrong way especially people that read these issues as a kid coming up right 
So here goes more of what the older stuff looked like compared to the newer. More flatter colors. I kind of like it where it's not as much shading and just kind of, you know, four or five colors. See, this is very modern. I think that Neil Adams did that with Dead Man as well. Covers are cool. All right, guys. So we're out of the old school stuff, but not really. This is a more modern run, but it's called Batman 66 Omnibus, which is a modern book that takes place in the Adam West 1966 days. This collects Batman 66 issues 1 through 30. Plus, it has uh, the lost episode number one. This was known for being a mini series. It had Alex Ross covers, and it became its own ongoing. This has a cover price of one hundred and twenty-five dollars, with some uh, old school looking artwork. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, here we go. A modern book that takes place in the '60s. It's based off of the Adam West TV show. You can see all the villains on the top there: Batman and Robin, old school, nineteen sixty-six vibe. Climbing up the building, classic uh, stuff here. And here's the bat, same bat style, all new bat adventures. Another classic Batman cover. Looks like it's um, a Golden Age cover redone in the 66 style. Someone can maybe you know correct me if I'm wrong. Spine looks the same. The back has some other 60s, very Austin Powers looking artwork, right? Table of contents. Cool coloring on this issue. Riddler. Cat kick. Oh, Red Hood, that's cool, man. So, you know, it's like a very fun book. Not too serious. It's not dark. It goes to Golden Age costumes. You got sketches in the back. Stuff about the show. Jumping into the 90s, we got the three volumes for Batman Nightfall. I recently read all three of these, and I did a review on them, so you guys can go back in the archives and check them out. But um, yeah, man, Batman Nightfall, as real as Batman, 90s stuff, great art. This contains a number of various issues throughout different titles to really get the whole full storyline. Uh, this one, volume one, has a $100 cover price. Same with volume two. And volume three as well. It's kind of too much to uh, just rattle off every issue. So uh, we'll look at the artwork. We'll talk about what issues it collects. And we'll take a look at it in more depth. All right, guys. Let's get into the 90s with some Batman Nightfall. The Omnibus Volume 1. You either love or you hate the 90s. Personally, I came up in the 90s. I loved reading this book. First appearance of Bane. The Breaking of the Bat. I love the art. I love the uh, dialogue. If you want to hear more of my thoughts on the story, you can go to my playlist and go to Recent Reads, and you'll see where I did the Nightfall, all three volumes at once. So the dust jacket off, hardcover has the same graphics, just like a virgin cover without the trade dress. Actually, I'll show you the little wrapper. There you go. Wrap around cover. See, that's my type of artwork right here. So 
So you can see here what this collects. It collects Batman 484 through 500, Shadow of the Bat 16 through 18, Batman Vengeance of Bane 1, which is his first appearance. It's a graphic novel, Detective Comics 654 through 666, and Showcase uh, 93, 7 through 8. Here goes Vengeance of Bane. I loved reading the graphic novel. There it goes. Boom. Killer Croc. I love Batman with these really long ears, how they drew him. So basically it has the prequel to Nightfall, the actual storyline, and then the aftermath. And, and tie-ins in between. Azrael becoming Batman. And becoming Azbat. Volume 2 of the Nightfall Omnibus is called Night Quest. As bad on the front. Wrap around cover to the spine. And then here goes the back. Probably my favorite version of Catwoman. They always call that modern Catwoman. Yeah, so you have Batman 501 through 508. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight 59 through 61, Shadow of the Bat 19 through 28, Catwoman 6 through 7, Detective Comics 667 through 675, Justice League Task Force 5 and 6, Robin 1 and 2 and 7, and Showcase 94 number 7. And then here you have the wraparound cover on the actual hardcover. Bless you. As bad again and again. This whole book is basically as real as Batman kind of doing his thing. They really make you hate him in this book, I tell you that. Cool art on this Shadow of the Bat covers. I mean, I like the art all throughout, man. This was my era. Alright, the third and final volume of the Batman Nightfall Omnibus is called Night's End. Batman comes back to take his place. Got some Nightwing stuff here. More Catwoman and Robin. This collects Batman 509 and 510 and 512 through 515. Legends of the Dark Knight 62 and 63. Shadow of the Bat 29 uh, through 30 plus 32 through 35. Catwoman 12 and 13, Detective Comics 676 and 677 plus 679 through 682, Robin 8 and 9 and 11 through 14, Showcase 94 number 10, Nightwing Alfred's Return number 1, and Batman Vengeance of the Bane 2. And here goes the actual hardcover with the wraparound stuff. So, similar art all throughout. 
Love these covers. Shadow of the Bat had the painted covers, or looks painted. All right, next up, we have one of the more recent Batman Omnibus. This is the Batman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. I actually had this in three different absolutes, the Long Halloween, the Haunted Night, and Batman Dark Victory. I had them in their separate absolutes, but you know, I decided to go ahead and sell those, just get the Omnibus. Figured it would be a little bit of, uh, a little bit of a shelf saver and you know, have them all compact in this one Omni. So, for those three storylines, uh, you get it for $125. It's the cover price on this bad boy. Let's take a look at it. All right, here goes that Batman by uh, Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale Omnibus that collects The Long Halloween, um, Dark Victory, and The Haunted Night. Kind of a cartoony cover. Doesn't really match the interiors to me, but what are you going to do? the back this book goes back to the uh, regular all black like the golden age stuff so first off you get the haunted night chapters one two and three then you get the Batman uh, Long Halloween, chapters 1 through 13. Then you get Dark Victory, the prologue, then chapters 1 through 13. Catwoman went in Rome, and you get some extras too. Get some introductions by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale. I read these when I had all the absolutes. Really loved them. You really got to read these books. They're, they're an easy read. On the back of the dust jacket, Christopher Nolan even praises these books as more than being more than comics and definitely was influential into the uh, Dark Knight trilogy. I like the absolute format, but I just figured... You know, if I'm going to collect everything, I'll just get every omnibus. I don't need to have every absolute that prints the same stuff, you know. So that's kind of why I made that decision. I, I don't want to get the collection to be too cluttered. I want to keep it pretty manageable. So that's why I went with that decision. Plus, the omnibus collects stuff that is not included in the um, absolutes. I don't think this Catwoman stuff isn't included in there. You know, the first time I did this every Batman uh, omnibus release so far, Nightfall, I believe, only had the first volume. So here's the first volume of the Grant Morrison Batman. It's going to be three volumes, but so far only the first one has been released. I also did a recent reads on this that you can go and check out. But for a $75 cover price, you get the first volume, um, which is the, the 600, so the Batman, 655 through 658, 663 through 683, and a couple other uh, random books here. But, you know, I liked how this ended. I'm looking forward to the other two volumes. All right, Batman by Grant Morrison, Omnibus Volume 1. This is one of three. Volumes two and three have not come out yet at the time this video was made. This is pre-New 52. I also did a recent reads on this. So if you go through my playlist for recent reads, you can check it out. Collects Batman 655 through 658. 663 through 683. Then DC Universe 0 and 52 issues 30 and 47. All right, here goes the front of the actual hardcover. Black and white, similar spine, same on the back. Let's 
You get modern Batman artwork, so you can't complain. Looks great. I like the covers. You have painted covers. But here's the interiors. Again, if you're interested in my thoughts, check out my recent reads on this. But it was a quick read, man. Hmm, that's a cool panel. Look how far we've come from the Golden Age stuff. Sick Joker stuff in here, man. This is where we kind of get the Joker metamorphosis and stuff like that. All right, guys, jumping into some new 52 stuff. We got the Batman and Robin omnibus. I've yet to read this one. I'm really looking forward to it. Maybe it'll be one of the ones I do next. But um, it's funny. There's a lot of new 52 stuff in omnibus format except for, like, the Batman run, which is a shame. This has a $125 cover price and collects, I think it's issues 1 through 30. Some of, some of them don't say it on the back. You have to look at the inside. Yeah, it's actually um, Batman and Robin 20 through 22, and then Batman and Robin 0 through 40, 23.1, uh, the three annuals, a couple other things. So let's take a look at Batman and Robin. All right, on to the new 52. Batman and Robin, Peter J. Tomasi, Patrick Gleason, Omnibus, got Damian Wayne, who we actually really get introduced into from the Grant Morrison Omnibus. These dust jackets all got messed up on shipping. Spine is the same. Here's the artwork on the back. Very cool stuff. So this collects, like I said, oh, Batman. I already mentioned what it collects. Moving on. How they printed this before the actual Batman New 52 run, I'll never know. But I heard that this is a good read. I really got to jump into this one. Binding's a little tight. All right, last up for the Batman Omnibus. Before we get into the honorable mentions, we got the Batman Arkham Saga Omnibus, which is another recent release. It basically has all the comics that were printed in correlation with the games. I thought it was cool material. You definitely can read it, even if you have played the game or if you haven't played it. It's still a good read. It, ha it was a $150 cover price, but it was a huge omnibus. It collects so much material. I remember showing this off during one of my haul videos and just rambling on all the stuff it collects a lot of web issues all the printed ones so a lot of good stuff uh but let's go ahead and flip through and take a look at it all right batman the arkham saga omnibus based off the hit video games very thick omnibus i think it's like 1600 pages you can see whether you're a fan of the game or you just want a fresh perspective on the batman mythos you got to have this book so you could read it either way back to the all black Yeah, so here's everything it collects. A ton of stuff, too much to name, basically prequels to the game, preludes to the game, tie-ins, uh, digital adaptations. If you want to like pause this and read that page, be my guest, but it's a ton of stuff. And the table of contents breaks it all down as well. 
Arkham Origins. But it has good artwork. I mean, I enjoyed the games. I like the storyline of the game, so. Why not? Alright, so not only does Batman have the most omnibus out of any comic book character, Marvel or DC, he also has a good chunk of honorable mentions, Bat Family stuff that are collected in omnibus format. So the first one we'll take a look at is the Bronze Age Batgirl Omnibus Volume 1. This collects some random Batgirl uh, issues throughout the mid-70s. It doesn't really follow a complete storyline, just all of her appearances. $100 cover price. Great artwork, though. I really like the 70s style stuff. So let's flip through and take a look. All right, so I figured I couldn't do this video without including these books. Bronze Age Batgirl Omnibus Volume 1. 70s stuff. I still love it. Here's the back. It doesn't show what it collects, but we'll look at the table of contents real quick. All right. Jumping into the Batgirl. Here goes her first appearance in Detective Comics, 359. It's always a hot key issue. Next up, Gotham Central. I hear a lot of good things about Gotham Central, and I really want to jump into this. Haven't read it yet, and I kind of forgot to include it in the first video that I did. Although, from what I understand, it's more of a Gotham book than a Batman book. But, you got a $100 cover price, and let's see what it collects. Oh, Brubaker. I don't even know. Gotham Central 1 through 40. So let's take a look at this. All right, guys. Here goes Gotham Central by Ed Brubaker. Man, I didn't even realize this was Brubaker. I got to jump into this. Front of the dust jacket. Here's the spine. Here goes the back. Does it tell us what it collects? Nope. $100 cover price. Hey, what do you know? All black hardcover. Spine is the same. So this will be my first time flipping through this book, actually. Gotham Central Omnibus. Brubaker does crime well, so... Oh, did I already say that? Yeah, it collects issues 1 through 40. Uh, book 1 in the line of duty. Book 2, Jokers and Mad Men. Mr. Freeze. So what is it? Kind of like the Gotham show. It's like a Batman comic without Batman. Like like Gotham is a Batman show without Batman. But you have the villains and stuff. Looks like I could get into it. Was that Two-Face? Looks like a drama. Looks like a crime novel. But looks good. I could dig it. Oh, there goes Batman. Okay.
Next up, you got Grayson, uh, New 52 book, more of a modern thing. Dick Grayson off on his own as Agent Grayson. I've heard mixed things about this book. Uh, haven't gotten around to this one yet. $100 cover price. I hear good things about, you know, Tim Seeley and Tom, Tom King. But yeah, Grayson 1 through 20 with a couple other little mini series. So I figured I'd throw this into this video since it's, you know, Robin related. <clears throat> All right, we got Grayson. Agent Grayson, the super spy omnibus, Tim Seeley, Tom King. You know, here it's a good, great creative team, but I heard that it was kind of a boring run, man. Uh, $100 cover price. Pretty basic looking hardcover. So I guess uh, Dick Grayson stops becoming Robin and starts doing his own thing. Grayson 1 through 20, Futures End 1, Secret Origins 8, Annual 1 through 3, Robin War 1, 2, Nightwing Rebirth 1. I guess that's his little evolution. Victor from Young Bloods. Mm, looks boring. Then we have some Harley Quinn stuff. The first one is um, really the Gotham City Sirens, but it was renamed Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens just because of Harley's popularity. $75 cover price, collects all 26 issues of the run. Let's flip through and take a look at it. All right, this is a newer release, Harley Quinn and the Gotham City Sirens Omnibus, which is basically a Poison Ivy, Harley, Catwoman book. Paul Dini, you'll know him from Batman the Animated Series. And it collects um, all 26 issues of the series, along with Catwoman 83, $75 cover price. Dope art on the back, though. Were they supposed to have a movie about this, too? Gotham City Sirens? Here goes the front of the hardcover, black spinal, graphic on the back. So, let's take a look here. Yeah, so it's originally published as Gotham City Sirens 1 through 26, but you know, they threw Harley Quinn's name on the front because of the hype and all that to sell it. That's kind of lame, but whatever. That looks really dope, man. Catwoman. Do some parkour. Some hardcore parkour. Okay, not mad at that. So it looks like you're going to get some dope artwork in this, though. Not for nothing. Okay. So yeah, artwork looks really good, man. That's dope. An angel wing and a demon wing. Pretty cool, man. Next up, we have two omnibus that collect uh, Harley Quinn's New 52 run. You can see both of them here. It looks like it collects... It collects a few things. Volume 1 is 0 through 16. Secret Origins 4. Annual 1. Futures End 1. Harley Quinn and Power Girl 1 through 6. So you got a lot of different uh, tie-ins. And then it wraps up with Harley Quinn 17 through 30. And a couple of other mini-series and one-shots that we'll take a look at. But Bat, uh, Harley Quinn, New 52 stuff. Let's take a look at it. 
All right, we got Harley Quinn by Amanda Connor and Jimmy Palmiotti, Omnibus Volume 1 of 2. This is her new 52 run. And it has a lot of little tie-ins as well, right? So this one has... I'll tell you in a second. Harley Quinn, 0 through 16, Secret Origins 4, Harley Quinn Annual 1, Future's End 1, Holiday Special 1, Valentine's Day Special 1, Harley Quinn Invades Comic-Con, uh, International San Diego Special 1, and Harley Quinn and Power Girl 1 through 6. So they both have these artsy kind of hardcovers. Harley Quinn, pink. Yeah. It's pretty dope. Here's the Secret Origins. Jump into the ongoing. It looks fun enough. You know, the art looks good, and it might just be a stupid, fun little read. One day I'll get to it. Variant covers in the back and sketches. And volume two, Harley Quinn by Amanda Connor, and Jimmy Palmiotti. This time you got a blue, blue writing and blue cover. The second of three omnibus. Okay, so there's going to be one more. Probably to collect all 52 issues because this collects. DC Sneak P, uh, Sneak P, Harley Quinn 1, Harley Quinn 17 through 30. Road Trip Special 1, Be Careful What You Wish For 1, Harley Quinn and Her Gang of Harleys 1 through 6, and Harley's Little Black Book 1 through 6. So very similar to Volume 1, but it's blue. Actually, same design. I'm sure similar art, same creative team. Superman, Lobo. Last but not least is the Red Hood and the Outlaws Omnibus from the New 52. I haven't even shown this in a haul video yet, so this is going to be the first time I'm showing it off. I hear terrible things about this book, but as a Batman book, as a DC Omnibus, I had to get it. But it collects Red Hood and the Outlaws 0 through 27 with Teen Titans 16. Batman 17, an annual one, $100 cover price, had to add it to the collection. Let's flip through and take a look at it uh, with each other. All right, the most recent Bat Family Omnibus to come out, Red Hood and the Outlaws, New 52 Omnibus, Volume 1. Dope cover. Here's the spine. And the back collects... Red Hood and the Outlaws, 0 through 27, Teen Titans 16, Batman 17, and Annual 1, 100 bucks. So very similar hardcover to like Grayson or Harley Quinn. Kind of like this 70s looking graphics, I don't know. People like Tim Drake on Red Hood, so we'll go some Teen Titan stuff. All right,
right, guys, there you have it. Every Batman omnibus and Batman-related omnibus release so far. I didn't, uh, I didn't include any Justice League stuff because I did its own video for every Justice League uh, omnibus and Absolute, actually. Uh, but I hope this serves as a good visual checklist for you guys. Uh, maybe some of the artwork showing it off. You can get an idea if you want to jump into it or not. I've read uh, a couple of these. Um, Gotham Central has got to be next on my list with the Batman and Robin on the bus. I definitely want to knock those out next. But I'm happy to have read the Grant Morrison, the Nightfall stuff. Um, the Golden Age stuff is going to be tough. If you want a review on that, Iman dropped a Batman Golden Age Omnibus Volume 1 recent read, so you can go through the archives and check that out. Make sure to hit that like on the way out. Drop me a comment with any questions or concerns, and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more daily content like this, every Omnibus release so far, recent reads, statue unboxing and reviews, haul videos. We have something every day, so make sure to stay locked into Gem and Collectibles. Peace. Thank you.